Okay. Good afternoon. The Committee on Water and Land is on its agenda of Monday, April 4th, uh, 1 p.m. And we'd like to say aloha, aloha. to all of you. Um, <clears throat> we're convening uh, this today's hearing, uh, this committee uh, on water and land here in conference room 229. And this hearing is being streamed live online. We'll be taking testimony from folks who are in person and online. In the event we are cut off due to technical difficulties, we'll have to abruptly end this hearing and reconvene to discuss any outstanding business at the end of the agenda on Wednesday, April 6, starting at 1 p.m. However, we hope that won't happen. <laughs> to start off um, today's uh, advice and consent hearing, and for those who are in Zoom land as well, we are very pleased uh, to do this Senate advice and consent, in particularly for this group. And let me say it has been a long time uh, since we have this group um, in place, confirmed in the Senate uh, as well. And so it's heartwarming um, to be able to have my colleagues here uh, at today's hearing. It's something special. And so uh, at this time, uh, to start off um, to this morning's uh, event, I'd like to um, have the committee and to all of those in Zoom land an appropriate Oli and to be done by our dear, dear friend, Kavai Kapua Okalani Hewitt. Aloha mai oe ke a kua hi loko o kalake e kalaki ka wiki ane o Ka koko mai oe ke a kua mai ke ane o mama O mai kourima ke a kua e mōlo oi ka ina e mōlo oi na E mōlo oi na awiki o na mai ine Mahalo The committee's uh, agenda today is the advice and consent of several of the governor's messages. And I, it's usually a time when the chair would talk about the committee uh, and uh, why uh, we have an organization like an advisory council or a commission. However, in noting that um, there is a testifier uh, who I think will do a better job than myself. And I'd like to call on uh, the first uh, testifier. Uh, please come up, Lemana Damati from uh, the Office of Ahomoku Advisory Committee and DLNR. Thank you, Chair, so much. And thank you, members of the committee. We're honored and pleased to be here. And um, we'd like to give you a very brief background on the Ahamoku, uh, beginning with the foundation. I'd like to introduce Kabai Kapu Okalani Hewitt to the rest of you. Kabai Kapu is the one who translated the ancient texts and ancient chants that brought the foundation of the Ahamoku forward. So that is at the heart of the Ahamoku. Very, very briefly, we have three foundations. Malamakiakua, to honor, respect, and perpetuate the spirituality of Hawaii name. Malama Ikaaina, Amenavaivai Pono, to honor, respect, and perpetuate the land, 
and all of the natural resources. Malamakako ke kahi ke kahi na ivi hanau o ke ia aina. To honor, respect, to take care of one another, all of us born here in Hawaii, so that we all have a future and we all have the natural resources to sustain that future for all of us here in Hawaii. Ne. Lastly, first and foremost, I go back to Malama Ke Akua, that Akua going to guide us through all of this. And I mahalo you all for this time. Mahalo. Mahalo. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. You can proceed. Um, our written testimony is before all of you, and it has a background of the Aha Moku, so I won't repeat all of that. Um, it is also the only one of its kind here that is an entity that is attached to a state government agency, yet brings a is advisory only so that it can bring the voices of the people of their islands forward without any kind of prejudice. But if you have any questions as we go along, feel free to ask, to ask any one of us. And thank you for the opportunity to give you this short background. Mahalo. Okay. All right. Thank you, uh, Mahalo. Today's agenda is, as I did mention earlier, is to advise and consent GM717, Keith Robinson, Kaaina o Kave Lona Kala, the island of Niihau. GM718, Walter Rollins, Molokai Pule O'o, island of Molokai. GM719, Robert Kale Luubai, Moku o Piilani, the island of Maui. GM720, Ma Manuel Kulo Loio, Moku o Kanaloa, island of Kaho'olawe. GM721, Francis Rocky Kaluhiva, Moku o Keku Hihea, -hi island of Oahu. GM722, Charles Young, Moku o Keawe, island of Hawaii. GM723, Llewellyn Billy Kahohe Laulii, Mano Kalani Po, island of Kauai. GM724, Winifred Winnie Vasquez, Nanai Kaula, island of Lanai. We do have testimony. We did hear from uh, DLNR uh, testifying for the state of uh, Humoku. Um, we do have, um, let's see, testifying for uh, Ko'olau Foundation. Okay, please come up if you want to do it. And thank you, for, mahalo for being here. Aloha mai kako. Aloha. Um, the Kola Foundation actually supports all of the nominations, all of the uh, appointments. Uh, but we, I wanted to read one of the testimonies in particular because this is a person very close to me. This is in support of GM721, appointment of Francis Kalukiva to the Ahamoku Advisory Committee. The Kola Foundation strongly supports the appointment of Francis Lealoha Raki Kalohiva to serve again on the Ahamoku Advisory Committee for the state of Hawaii. Our foundation is dedicated to the preservation of Hawaiian history, traditional practices, cultural landscapes, and Hawaiian values. It is our hope that a renewed recognition of the importance of the Ahamoku practice of good stewardship for the aina and natural resources will result in wiser decisions both within the Hawaiian community as well as among decision makers in the local, state, and federal governments. In fact, it has been our great disappointment over these past few years that more support from the state government has been lacking. However, we are pleased to see that the governor has finally brought this list of nominees forward for consideration by our state legislature. We would like to urge that the legislature include in its budget adequate funding for operations of the AMAC and also a proviso in your budget with language calling for the Department of Land and Natural Resources that ensures funding for this group is properly released to the executive director chosen by the advisory committee. This has not been the case in past years. The executive director 
uh, was bypassed and a lot of the funding was decided only by the director of land and natural resources. So that's a disappointment. So we, we wanted a proviso in the budget. As for the quali qualifications of Rocky Kalohiva, we hold her in high esteem as a community and cultural leader and are fully confident that she will provide wise and sound advice to the state of Hawaii and all of its agencies, not just DLNR, on matters pertaining to stewardship of natural resources and Hawaiian cultural perspectives. She is a member of our board of directors and our second vice president and is currently president of the Ko'olapoko Hawaiian Civic Club. She has spent a lifetime advocating for our communities and would be a strong asset and advisor to the state of Hawaii. We urge your approval of her nomination and all the others to this to the position on the Ahamoku Advisory Committee. Mahalo. Okay, thank you very much. Any questions, members? Um, we do want to add to your comments as well, and it's our honor to honor the governor's GM's nomination as well. And so we are pleased to see all of you here. Um, and the Senate um, has confirmed that we do have uh, resources for this committee as well. However, you know, it's a matter of a compromise during conference that also the House needs to approve as well. well but just to let you know that the Senate has included the amount needed uh, to upkeep and to manage uh, the committee uh, and the work that, uh, you know, Lemana, uh, hopefully she can have some assistance this coming years uh, as well. But uh, the Senate is right with you in your comments. Okay. And um, we'll proceed to complete the uh, GM717, um, the, the confirmation uh, for uh, Keith Robinson for a term to expire June 30th, 2024. Uh, also note that there has been um, testimonies in support uh, for no opposition as well for GM717, Keith Robinson. Um, Mr. Robinson is there on Zoom. Aloha, can you hear us? I'm totally unfamiliar with this kind of thing. I've got my nephew, James, here. He's an electronic quiz. Hi, Rocky, you look good. Uh, I'm glad to see you here today. Um, now, I've got a number of things to say, and uh, it may take a few minutes to say them. I, uh, I don't want to intrude on the regular proceedings. If you want to hear them uh, now or at the, toward the conclusion of this, uh, you can uh, choose whatever time you want to hear it, but these are facts which I think that you people should be aware of. Now, as a background information introducing myself, uh, I'll just say that I'm the owner and operator of an endangered, a Hawaiian endangered species wildlife reserve on Kauai, where I do some uh, certain uh, kinds of endangered species work that no one else has ever done in all Hawaii. And, um, Again, I've done it on my own without uh, asking for any government grants or uh, gifts or donations of any kind from the government or from anyone else. And furthermore, I've uh, been the first person in Hawaii ever to do this at a small financial profit, which opens up all kinds of interesting possibilities for the future. That's, uh, that's by the way of introduction. Now, I'm also... Uh, a co-owner of the island of Niihau, and I'm, and I'm moderately familiar, at least I like to think I am, with conditions there and the endangered species there and the people there and so forth. Um, if you, I also have with me a paper which I hope to read at some point uh, during these proceedings and which should answer a lot of your questions uh, that some of you may have about seeming Things uh, about things that apparently happened or did not happen in these past years. Um, having said that, uh, does anyone have any, uh, do any of you people in the uh, Senate committee have any wishes about anything? Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Keith. And we uh, also want to thank you uh, for extending yourself to serve on Ahumoku for Ni'ihau. And we thank you and your family for all you do uh, for the island and the purpose that you've just indicated 
about endangered uh, species as well. Members, any questions of Mr. Robinson since uh, he um, is on Zoom today? Uh, mahalo, and we'll be um, moving along with the rest of the agenda if you want to stay on. And we will be taking a vote today on all of the nominees. Thank you very much. Okay. The next uh, is GM718, and this is submitting for consideration and confirmation to the Ahumoku Advisory Committee, uh, GM Walter Rollins, for a term to expire June 30th, 2024. Limana, are you going to do the individual ones as well? Okay. Thank you, Chair Lemana Damate with the Hawaii State Ahamoku. And I would just like to say a few words for Mr. Rollins. Um, you have our written testimony that we stand on it. Walter Rollins is part of the Kupuna Council of Molokai, a council that was formed by the people of each of the different moku. And they follow a very strong generational knowledge way of protecting their cultural and natural resources. He's a very kind man. He has a lot of dignity and he does it um, either on the bush. So he's good to work with and the people totally support him. So I just wanted to let you know that um, we stand strongly by this nomination. Thank you, Chair. Okay, Mr. Rollins, Walter. Aloha. <clears throat> and we also want to thank you as well for uh, what you do for your island and your presence here to serve the people as well in the Ahumoku Advisory Council. Thank you. So feel free to say what you need, you feel in your heart. Well, I just want to let the people know on Molokai that they have voice now here, you know, to support them. You know, it's so much individual things going on that I don't agree with. I just want to work with the community so that they are on the same pages with everybody else that we have no problem later on. That's all I said. Mahalo, thank you so much. Any questions or concerns you want to share? Mahalo. Okay. Uh, next up, we will have uh, four uh, the island of uh, Maui, uh, GM719, and that's Robert uh, Kale Luuvai, Moku Opiilani, island of Maui. I do want to add to um, uh, GM718 of uh, Mr. Rollins that we uh, do have uh, communication from Cheryl Prince testifying for the Ko'olau uh, Poco Hawaiian Civic Club in support of his nomination. Okay. Thank you, Chair. Lemana Damati for Hawaii State Ahamoku. I would like to state that Mr. Luvai, Robert Kale Luvai, is such an unusual and special addition to this advisory committee. He is born and raised on Maui, of course, and his family is generational from Makena side. More importantly, he was taught by his father to know all of the 12 moku on Maui, which is not an easy feat. Mm -hmm. He also knows he's a lavaya, a fisherman, and he knows all the currents, names of the currents, names of the lands, the landmarks on Maui. He will be an asset to helping the state understand and work with the different moku and ahupua of Maui because he walks in both worlds. And that's difficult to find someone that can do that. We strongly stand in favor of this nomination. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Um, let's see. Okay. Mr. Luubai, aloha, welcome. Um, yeah, I feel honored to serve as, with this group, bring my manao and the things I've experienced. Um, 
it's been a long doing a lot of things over the years and lately i've been working on this island so i'm spending during the weekdays over here so but yeah i'm excited about this looking forward to it thank you and we um appreciate you giving up your time as well you know to serve um on ahumoku's um policy board as well uh, members any questions you'd like to ask of um senator agaron's constituent yes okay. i see him every morning on the monday and their friday flights well he's doing the people's <laughs> work here so yes okay uh we do have um testimony that was sent um by cheryl prince as well uh testifying for the koolau poku hawaiian civic uh club on behalf of uh, robert uh Lu'uvai. also vernon kalani kao sent testimony in support of yourself and Jay Ashman, an individual, sends testimony uh, on your behalf as well. Okay, we will proceed then with GM 720, and this is um, submitting the consideration and confirmation to the Ahumoku Advisory Committee. And the GM uh, nominee is Manuel Kulo Looi. <coughs> Let me try that again. Kulo Lo Io for term to expire June 30th, 2024. Um, Leimana. Thank you, Chair. Leimana Damate for the Hawaii State Ahamoku. Mr. Kulo Lo Io is one of the very rare people who knows the current, the landmarks of Kaho'olawe, and he learned them. It's generational knowledge that he learned from his kupuna. He also, his great grandfather was the one that gave the island all of the Ahupua'a place names. So he is the best suited to represent Hanaloa, Kaho'olawe. He understands it. He and his father told me once that this is a traditional place for the Naya, the dolphins, to come and. Um, mate give birth. So all those special little things about Kaho'olawe, which are never brought forward officially, he is able to share that. He is able to know, he knows all of that. We strongly support this nominee to be a member of the Ahamoku Advisor Committee. Thank you. Thank you. All right, the honoree, um, Manuel. Kulo lo io, please. And we also want to thank you for offering your um, time uh, and uh, your all of what you've done uh, for the island as well as the rest of everyone here today. Uh, Aloha, Senator Chair Inouye. Vice Chair Coloma, Keith Agaron, Senator Rivera, hello. Senator Evangelista, Misa Lucha, nice to see you again. Thank you. And, uh, Senator Frivella, aloha. Um, our families have struggled uh, to criticism, to protect and malama the, the traditions of our, of our kupuna. J.G. Stokes of the Bishop Museum came to seek my great-great-grandfather, Avaloa, that he called the only Kaho'olawe man of the place names of Kaho'olawe. He was unable uh, to find my great-grandfather, but one of our ancestors, which Kalei and I are Ohana uh, Kawekane, mm -hmm. penciled the place names of Kaho'olawe on a map provided by C.S. Judd the head of commissioners for agriculture and forestry, which is comparable to the DLNR today. So that little pocket book in the Bishop Museum is still there. You can ask DeSoto Brown and that map of Kaolave is still in the, the archives. But I'm very grateful and honored to be here uh, today uh, to support the Ahomoku, Wekumu, Kuwaikapu Hewitt, thank you, uh, Auntie Le Mono, and all these very distinguished and honorable personages before me, all the different islands. And I promise you, give you my best shot. 
and care about Kahoa Lavi. It was Kalei's father, Uncle Bobby, and Kalei himself that have taken me around Kanolo and Hawaii's waters fishing, and I'm grateful. But uh, thank you for the honor and opportunity to support. Well, thank you very much as well. And um, I think you're the baby of all that's here. And so you must continue your track as well for years to come. But um, I'm curious, Kaho'olawi, so Ahupua, how many in, in, on the island? Some people say there's none, but there's different, uh, there's about 12 different uh, mokus that they divide in, into. So, so about four moku. About, it's about 12 different uh, districts on, on Kaolawi that start from the top, Lua Makika. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Members, I did want to share with you when I, when we visited my office um, last week, I did uh, tell him that, you know, I'm a weekly traveler, you know, like uh, my neighbor here that goes to Maui, same schedule. We come here on mon Mondays to Fridays. But when I'm on flight, particularly coming from uh, Hilo and fly over the island, and it just amazes me through all these years I've been here, that I would look down and I would see the green pastures, you know, and now it's the green is taking place, which I'm so happy to see because we all know earlier on that it was pretty dry there. So all the work that um, all of the friends of Kaho Olavi has done over the years is just amazing. Uh, that is now coming to birth uh, as well as all the work that all of you have done to help uh, restore the island. So, mahalo. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we do have um, also Cheryl Prince has sent testimony um, on behalf of Kaolo, um, uh, Ko'olau Poco Hawaiian Civic Club, uh, Vernon Kalina Kao, uh, individual has sent in testimony. Uh, Mahialani, you want to? speak on, you'll stand on your testimony in support of GM 720 as well. Okay, um, thank you. We'll proceed then with GM 721. Sure. Yes, yes. All of this, people that is being nominated, did they, did they serve previously on this board? Um, Any of them? I understand several of them. You wanna raise your hands who served before? So one, yeah. Two, three, about three and. So when this came up in 2020, and this is for many, um, uh, for Koho Lave, uh, what, what was the reason? I, I have some notes in 2020 that a few of my colleagues had um, asked the governor for uh, a withdrawal of your name. Do, do you know in 2020, were you serving at the time, 2020? No. no. Okay, I just have some notes from the last time your name came up that um, in 2020 was mentioned that um, some of my colleagues put in uh, a request for your nomination to be withdrawn by the governor. So you know, any, you know anything about that? Uh, Hemana, uh, if you can summarize. Thank you, Chair. It was actually his father, Leslie <coughs> Kololo. You. It was um, actually Les Kulolo'io was Manuel's father who was on the board at that time. And he's the one, all of the, the people, the whole entire Ahamoku Advisory Committee was in danger of um, just not existing anymore due to issues that happened with prior legislators. But it was not Manuel, it was Les and he is um, no longer with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, and having said that, that's why for um, the belief that the governor uh, has sent down, and we all have before us the GMs that the Senate this year will continue to support Ahumokus back to the to the commission level as well. Thank you. Um, we'll proceed then with GM721, 
and this is submitting for consideration and confirmation to the Ahumoku Advisory Committee GM, Francis Rocky Kalukiva, for term to expire June 30th, 2024. Thank you, Chair. You can't imagine what a pleasure this is for me to testify in support for Rocky Kaluhiva. Ever since she has been on this Ahamoku, since its inception in 2006, she's worked tirelessly, tirelessly for her island, for her moku of Heia, for Kaniohi, for her district. And since 2019, she has been working tirelessly for every island as the um, state chairperson of the Hawaii State Ahamoku, unofficially by the Western, you know, she wasn't confirmed yet, but wholeheartedly and totally supported by the people of the eight islands. Um, I wanted to, to speak mostly to our benefit for her wisdom, she uses her life experience. At one time, she was an advocate. That's a nice way of saying activist. But in her younger years, she was able to temper all of her perspectives on the natural and cultural resources with not her, her wisdom only, but her kupuna wisdom and um, her generosity and her beautiful spirit. I strongly support this nominee to the Ahamoku Advisory Committee. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. All right, and Rocky. And I've known Auntie Rocky since then. <laughs> I was here then um, back in my first 10 years. And it's been such a pleasure to see her and Mahialani always, any issues that come before uh, the Senate, they were always here sitting, either if they're not testifying, they're sitting in the back just watching what will transpire uh, then as well. And during the 2006 earthquake as well, uh, there were several damages uh, to our churches, uh, to the museums, and to the, um, the, the Queen's Place at Kailua Kona. And they just sat there in the back to make sure that uh, a lot of damages uh, that we recognize to include that the state at that time had to send all the, the resources to the FEMA uh, that I had served in government operations, worked with civil defense to make sure that those landmarks were covered, um, you know, for assistance to at least refurbish or replace whatever lo was lost, whether it's stone walls at the Queen's Palace at, at Kailua Kona, um, Hulehe'e Palace, uh, but they were there, always sitting on the site. And we thank you again to see you um, looking great, all your service um, to our uh, Hawaiian people, but also to our people of Hawaii. Welcome back. Mahalo. Mahalo, Chair and members of the committee. I have to come before you and ask that you consider having me back on the Ahamoku. Um, committee. I'm willing to serve another four years, and I feel it's part of my kuleana, not only as a Hawaiian, my ancestors, my kupuna, they were also kunohikis. Um, I, every time I just hear the word heia, especially, <coughs> I'm uh, maka'ala. I'm very careful to make sure that just overly protective of the aina. And it became, I became the mo'o, the po'o for the Entire island of Oahu, that was like a surprise. I became careful on that. And now for the state of Hawaii. And I feel that it is my kuleana, our kuleana, to preserve and protect of all of the rest of our natural resources that's ever left of that. And I'll continue to do that. Mahalo. Thank you very much. Mahalo. Any questions you might add or want to know about her knowledge? Um, Mahialani, you stand on your you want to speak? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, also, Kavika Winter uh, testifying for Keia National Estuarine uh, Research Reserve has sent 
a letter on your behalf to support you, uh, Jennifer Nakamura and Hiaka Jardine, an individual sends <coughs> letter of support. Okay, mahalo. mahalo. Okay, we'll go to the next one, GM722 and uh, submitting for consideration the confirmation uh, to the uh, advisory committee, GM Charles Young for term to expire June 30th, 2024 uh, from my island of Hawaii. Okay, Leimana Damate. Thank you, Chair. Leimana Damate with the Hawaii State Ahamaku. This again is another really, truly, truly honorable person that uh, I'm so grateful that he he is now going to be helping us on Ahamoku <coughs> if confirmed. Um, I've known Charlie Young for over 30, 40 years now, I think. And he has been a continuous advocate for the Native Hawaiian people on our island. I'm also from Hawaii Island, from Mauna Kea all the way to Kealakekua, which are two issues he's working on now for the people. He's... Um, has integrity, he's honorable, he is one of the plaintiffs for the Kapa'akai Oka'aina Hawaii Supreme Court case that had a lot to do with shaping how Hawaiian resource, natural and cultural resources are looked at today legally. So he brings a lot of experience to, to the, the committee and I ask that you advise and consent to support him we, we strongly support him you see i'm studying because he's from my island <laughs> that's Thank right you. mahalo as well um also testifying um uh, sending testimony uh cheryl prince uh from the koola poko hawaiian civic club uh and also the hui maka aina uh, omakana presley one sense uh communication on your behalf Okay, come on up, Charlie. And anything you want to know about macadamia nuts <laughs> or or whatever, this young man has been in the industry for years and years and years, um, and also was when Hershey Company decided, oh, there's something good growing up on the Big Island. Who did they look for to hire? Charlie Young. Welcome. Welcome to back to the Capitol, Charlie. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Cherry Noe. Uh, <laughs> that's Young in last name only. Um, first, I want to thank uh, Kumu for reminding us Mahalo Kea Kua first. Uh, I think that's something that uh, we all understand. We have a spiritual guidance, but we don't actually acknowledge that as often as we should, because it's just built in. Chair, I want to thank you and the committee uh, first for your support in uh, the confirmation process. But I, I want to thank you also for the additional financial support that you are proposing and hope will, you will support you know, through, throughout its entirety, uh, because I think that's going to help uh, create a better uh, working and focusing for the uh, for the, the AMAC and provide us to, to, to do the best job that we can. As you know, we're all volunteers and we volunteer because we love our aina, we, we love the places where we live and we want our kiki to, uh, and our mo'opuna to, to live through the same kinds of experiences, hopefully, uh, you know, that we have shared over our lifetime. We've been very fortunate in our time. So uh, uh, I feel privileged um, and honored to have been uh, appointed It'll be a privilege to serve, and especially to a privilege to serve uh, with my colleagues here. So thank you very much. Thank you for your time. So now that you're retired, we can concentrate and, and help the work that we all look forward for, and that's why you're all here as well. Uh, and on the other bright side too, uh, and I think my colleague here would know, uh, Ann Young. Remember Ann Young? He, um, that's the day. <coughs> And was a analyst. He worked for uh, Ways and Means, yeah. At, or he did actually he work? worked for Colony English at a while. For a while, he worked 
uh, in and around uh, some of the other folks. Uh, here. Yeah, I remember. And then yeah. he went to, he was in charge of the, was it the Oahu Food Bank? Uh, he he oh, was head Hawaii of the Hawaii Island. Island Food Bank. He currently works with another nonprofit here on Hawaii, uh, on Oahu. They and decided that the city life uh, is more suitable than Did he life. also work uh, on Lanai? <laughs> he worked on Lanai. Yeah, and uh, he started bit, yes. the aquaculture project or some agriculture activity That's over correct. there as well. Sun, the brand Sunset. Just like the dad, very active, and we mahalo um, you all for that as well. Okay, mahalo. Thank Good you. to see you. Okay, GM723. Uh, this is the um, GM723. Uh, uh, submitting for consideration confirmation to the advisory committee, uh, GM Llewellyn uh, Kaohe Laulii for the term to expire June 30th, 2024. And as I mentioned to all our previous commission members that um, you are all numbers. If you remember, you're all numbers. So. The next one up is GM723. Okay. Mahalo. <laughs> Thank you, Chair. Lemana Namate for the Hawaii State Ahamoku. I would like to strongly advocate and support for Lou Ellen, um, commonly known as Billy, Billy Kaohe mm, Okay. He was one of the original authors of the Ahamoku Bill. In 2006, there were 100 plus actual authors. Um, John Kaimikawa was uh, one of the spiritual guides that brought the structure together, but it was Kavai Kapu Okalani Hewitt who brought the foundation mm. so that we could tie it together and finally come up with what it was meant to be. Billy was one of the authors, the original authors. He has been working on Kauai Ever since then, in this capacity, um, under Uncle Tommy Hashimoto until he died, and now and now in his capacity as incoming Moku Po'o for um, Kauai. So he works with every one of the, the six different Moku. He knows most of the generational families. His family is originally from Niihau, and um, where he lives in the Poipu area now, he knows that whole entire coastline and has helped us save it from development. So thank you for the opportunity to testify. And um, we, we strongly support this nominee as well. Thank you. Thank you, okay. Chair. Thank you very much. Um, for uh, Uncle Billy, we have um, testifiers also, uh, Presley one send, um, yeah, you could come on up, testifying for, um, Kui Maka Aina Ana O Makana sends communication to support you. Uh, Cheryl Prince, Donna Santos, Candice Strong, Terry Hayes, and Maria Hacker sends communication to support you. Welcome. Aloha. Aloha. And we also, again, uh, as we did earlier, thank all of you and thank you um, for thank you offering you know, your uh, time. Uh, and your expertise to serve on the board. Thank you. We want um, to, to hear some of your uh, your work uh, and knowledge uh, on on your um, moku as well. Um, and I'm sure you've seen drastic changes in your lifetime to where you where Kauai is today. Oh, yeah more on the resort many, side. Many more people now. But me, I work with the Kani Oloma, we do the Malama da Heiau, mm. and Manao Kalani Po is right next with Malama there. That's what we do. Oh, we take care of all the Heiaus over there. Thank you so and, much. Um, we are the first, somehow the county got involved with the state. Whenever you get Heiaus, it's all state land but the county took them for tax i think so oh, so now we gotta deal with the county with mm -hmm. a culture we deal with a county now. so but you're managing the heiau area for us for the state 
but now the county is charging you property tax? No, no I am I'm lost. No, they they um they got the top, they got the land from uh the uh there was a leases, you know, the leases when they get Manoka I mean Kanio Oloma is a heyao so not too many people can take that kind of land, but uh, they lease the land. So Kanunsin was the leaser, and then um, they couldn't do nothing with the land. So I think the county took over. Ah, oh, oh, I see. To preserve it, maybe to. But to make we sure. was there cleaning up, so ah. we were the steward of the land. Ah, yeah, mahalo. Uh, so actually, the county um respects you know your community and yourselves your group for uh taking care of the heiau and the surrounding areas i'm sure yeah we've been taking well care thank of... you so much thank um you. for coming to the rescue okay. it's something that you can't take that away yeah yeah it's the culture that's correct yeah thank you so much anything thank else you. members you want to give this is an education for all of us. Okay, we're um, then coming to the last uh, of the Ahumoku's committee members, GM724, and this is submitting for consideration, confirmation to the advisory committee, uh, GM Winifred Busquez for a term to expire June 30th, 2024, representing Lanai. Okay, um, yeah, you can come up too. Yes. Thank you, members of the committee. Lemana Damate for the Hawaii State Ahamoku. Auntie Winnie has been with the people of Lanai and the Ahamoku since its beginning in 2006. Mm. She has worked tirelessly. She knows, even though Lanai, the communities all live up in the Malka area they still have the existing Ahupua'a and Moku, and there are still uh, existing heiau and existing cultural significant places a lot around uh, on the different Moku, yeah? Right. Okay, now the island is 95% privately owned, mm -hmm. but the other 5%, are the areas that the state has jurisdiction over yeah. and right okay <laughs> so i'm gonna let winnie speak to that um we strongly support her she's been lived on lanai for a very long time married one of the generational families from from there and learned about lanai itself from the people that she didn't already know <laughs> Okay, sorry, Winnie. Thank you for the opportunity to testify. Um, just really quickly at this time, Chair, since there aren't any more to come up to be, you know, I would like to sincerely thank Kavai Kapo Kalani Hewitt for his work with all the islands mm -hmm. tirelessly, and he teaches a full time job at Windward Community College. So he's working pretty much. 14, 16 hours a day, because after his work with them, he helps with uh, eight islands, mm. eight islands. Appreciate and um, that. I just wanted to acknowledge that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Chair. Mahalo. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, mahalo and welcome. I know it's uh, not easy getting from Lanai and Molokai to Oahu. I'm um, fine with that. Yeah, so I we can really appreciate your presence. <laughs> yeah. No, see, when, uh, excuse me, good morning or good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Winifred Vasquez. I live on the island of Lanai. 59 years. I met to my husband. He was born and raised, local boy, and he passed away. Saturday was seven years he passed. Okay. Mm. He worked for the highways for 29 years as a state employee. I worked for the state employee with the school as well as Lanai Community Hospital. I retired from the hospital 22 years as a paramedic. Okay. 
But in the meantime, we, I had, I say, Kukua people to come from the island because they was going to build the windmill. They wanted to build the windmill, 12 of them on car. That's the place where we go hunting. I hunt. I shoot game. I have a uh, 306 high power rifle. Wow. And it's permitted in the police department. It's not the kind of illegal kind. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I don't want the blue and white car coming to my house. No, no, no. <laughs> and I have another 6mm high power rifle. Wow. Periscope. Uh, telescope. And I use 180 grain to hunt the deer as well as the moose lot. I'm a hunter. I've been hunting for almost about, give or take, maybe 45 to 50 years. I love it. I love hunting. The reason why I had was chosen, the mother asked me, Winnie, yes, would you like to be with the Ahomoku Advisory Council? I said, okay, but in the meantime, I'm with other agencies. Like DLNR, DHHL, I with a shawl, I with a hat bed, I with this and I with that. Because they all need you. <laughs> you have to protect the island. <laughs> I guess, you know, they like, I mean, this time. and to any, you gotta go to the meeting. Oh no, I don't have to. Yes, yes. So when Mana called me, I call it Mana. Winnie, you have to come to Honolulu because there is a meeting on Monday, the fourth. Now, let me think about it and I'll get back to you. <laughs> so I said, okay. So I love I have connection with the library. My daughter works at the library. D, yes, mom, what again? Yes, again. And I just was here last week. Oh my. And I came back again because this was really important. Thank you. To the people. So she asked me, when are you going? I said, well, I cannot go Monday because sometimes the plane delayed. So I got to come Sunday, which I, I just love coming to Honolulu. So she said, okay, to make my reservation. And I'll give you the money. Don't worry about it. I'll give you the color. Yeah. So she said, when are you going? I said, well, my plane leaves at 11.45. I said, you there maybe about 12, 15, 12, 30. But in the meantime, my mind is working. When they started to do the windmill, that's a no-no. Right then and there. You do not do this. Look the one in the I don't know, countryside. They get all the windmills, they're not taking care of it. And it's all burned, it's all rotten, they're not taking. What's going on with this kind of people? They only like make sure, oh, I can do this, I can do that. A script of it, no, you don't do the kind of stuff. This is our land. This is where we were brought from the men about to come here, take care of the land. He gives us food, he gives us light, he gives us everything he gives us. But see, people don't think like that. Why do they do this kind of stuff? You know, I get very, very upset when I hear about this kind. I look in the, the newspaper every night when I go to sleep, I look in the newspaper. DHSL, DLN. Now they want to compensate the deer and the move run. Oh, hell no, you ain't going to do it when I'm around. No way, man. And who to do it? Pull on my one eye. And I tell you, straight, I don't know, right there what they're doing. People work all their life. They make them go out, move out. So he bring his Malahini in the night to work for him. But one more thing, I'll tell you, Jim Bonnie cannot take you too when you go down there. It's going to be burned. But see, I only the put all like that here. Pulley, pulley. But see, the thing is that that's how I feel. I take care of the land. We are cutting Ahumoku, mm. Ahukua, we get Kone and Kualao, the same island, but it's divided. 
I never knew this concept when I had a konohiki. Mm. You know what is a konohiki? They get one konohiki here, one over here. They're in the old ahuwa. Mm -hmm. If they want something from them, they'll have to give to them. They exchange. Because you know, those days, never get a kala, right? They give only stone, right? Way, 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 way back people. But see, the thing is that people nowadays do not understand. Mm. One more thing. Several months ago, I think maybe two years ago, I'm looking at television, I see these three guys and one Wahili on the boat coming from Kihe to Lanai, diving, they had Akarang, eight mm. of them on the boat. So where is the game warning? My game warning gone already. He, worked, he was nominated by the governor of Bern to be the deputy game warden. He's not around. What about Mike Quello and the friend, the other one? They're not there. Only the lady talk. She's sassy. Oh man, if I was there, man, look out. Man. You can get your fight on your hand. You don't do this kind of stuff. Go back where you come from. Why you come here? And they were not diving. <coughs> they get the uhu, the big blue one, mm. all line up. The red one, all line up. The parani, the manini, everything. Mm. And this is our livelihood. That's in our area. Why you come over here? Mm. Stay in your own area. You know, this kind. May I tell you, I can tell plenty of stories, but you know, time is essence, right? <laughs> That's all I can tell you. you okay, have I have just one question I'd want to ask. Go ahead. Um, Lanai. Um, how do you feel with Mr. Allison and all he's doing uh, there on the island, providing jobs? Like that and uh making sure I, that is great i don't like it okay so you're um i know i've been to the golf course i had a cousin that lived on Manai for a while so spent time with her so where you're located would be not on the the resort areas so you would be up to where's the your your residence my residence is I mean, right next door to the fair right in town uh -uh. Okay. He has this uh, swinging, uh, you know, from tree to tree. So I asked one of the person, uh, do they have net underneath? No. Don't call me. If you come me, you come man. Somebody will get in trouble. I drive airplanes. I'm a paramedic. 22 years of it. You know, when you see this kind of stuff, they say it's a chain for the group. Uh-uh, change it like this. Mm. This is what it's all about. The money. Well, like I said, you're gonna take you when you go. Well, it's gonna be burned down there. That's what I see. You can quote me and I quote you, but I'll tell you straight. I don't not like you one bit. You know, he bring his plane. I used to an airport before. I was a security. He brings four planes inside. His plane, Lanai Air. Mm. Good. So, he brings all these people coming back. Go work at a hotel. Okay? They get a disease. So, the housekeeper goes over there to take care of the problem with the hotel. They get them, and the kids have it, and they have to go to school. 15 kids had a sickness. The COVID. He don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. I, said, oh, I wish there was uh, security over there. Before. But I gotta go, you know. <laughs> Time is asset. But thank you very much again. Okay, for mahalo. We appreciate is the time that you questions? have. And, um, <coughs> yes. Questions I asked is I gotta come over there because I agree with you too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, right. 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 Okay. Give it out. There we go. All right. No, thank, thank you. you. Oh, um, mahalo okay, very much. Mahalo again. Thank you. Uh, also, uh, Cheryl Prince um, from uh, Ko'olau Poco Hawaiian Civic Club. 
uh, sends uh, communication to support you and you as well. And Mahialani in the back of you as well. Okay. All right, uh, members, we will, uh, that's the end of our uh, agenda items. And certainly we'd like to add um, what uh, Leimana Damati had mentioned, um, uh, thanking our, um, he was our, um, not only Kumu, but he did the, a very nice Oli, and we appreciate the time you spending with us today. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, members, we will take um, the vote in one motion. Um, sure. And yes. Sure, I will we'll take the vote. Um, sure. You know, Senator Favela. Uh, what you said in the beginning and your opening um, remarks, for me, this is my first time here, and it's an extreme pleasure, all of you. Opening Ole, there's everything what I get to hear and see that makes me proud to be on Ole. It really does. And I respect and I, and I treasure each and every one of you as you guys, Manao, that you guys will share to keep the Aina and keep the whole Hawaiian so I just thank you guys. Thank you guys for your guys' service. Appreciate all of you guys. Thank you for coming today. God bless. Yeah, thank you very much. And don't leave folks because they, we're all going to take pictures outside here. Okay, uh, Chair's recommendation on the Committee on Water and Lands agenda to uh, advise and consent GM 717, GM 718, GM 719, GM 720, GM 721, GM722, GM723, and GM724. Uh, advice and consent. Chair votes aye. Senator, um, Vice Chair Adaran for the vote, please. Okay. Vice Chair votes aye. Senator Mr. Lutka. Aye. Senator Revere. Aye. Senator Vella. Aye. Recommendation adoption. Okay. Thank you very much. Advice and consent has been. Thank you uh, very much. This concludes the Committee on Water and Land, and we all want to have pictures taken, so please, members of the committee outside here uh, in the um, hallway. Okay, mahalo. Okay, this concludes the hearing.